the flags are raised. The runners are being called towards the tape and they're off to a first timer. They're off and racing in the Krabby's Grand National of 2016. And as they stream down towards the first fence, St. Tar is one of the first to show. Along with Silvinaco Conti, Double Ross is also pretty prominent. Le Rev and last year's winner, Many Clouds aren't too far away. Then came Rocky Creek and Gooniella and Wonderful Charm. And they're about to rise at the first. And it will be St. R and Double Ross who will share the lead as they go over the first of the 30 fences. All the leaders are safely over. We do have one down. Hadrian's approach has gone at fence one and seat of the rider. On towards fence number two and Double Ross will have the lead over St. R who crossed it in second place and first lieutenant is down and Holywell is down at the back of the field. So three have gone as they come towards fence number three. Arkin making ground towards the outside and Arkin will lead the Romford Pelly who jumped that one in second place and they've all safely got over the open ditch and quickly they go towards fence number four and it is Arkin followed by the Romford Pelle and then Double Ross who jumps that fence in third position St. Tar was over in fourth the Druid's nephew made a mistake Many Clouds has got a good position on the inside running rail in the sheepskin noseband, about seventh or eighth. He's tracked there by Le Rev. So Vinialco, Conti and Katenko upsides him as they take the fence before Beaches. Arkin was the leader over it, not on landing from the Druid's nephew, who's two-thirds of the way back, and Home Farm was slightly hampered by a loose horse. And now they make their way down towards Beaches. It's Arkin from the Romford Pele, Double Ross and R. The last samurai in a noseband, rule the world with a blue cap. Arkin the first to take off and land, jumps it well. Leaders get out over it safely. Bad mistake by Vic's canvas. Somehow he managed to keep his feet. On towards Foynaven they go. They're being led by Arkin from Double Ross and the Romford Pele. The last Samurai and St. R. Many Clouds has got a good position on the inside. Rule the World and Katenko, Silviniaco, Conti, Larev shut the front door. Morning Assembly Pendra, Gil Gamboa and Guniella in midfield as they come to the canal turn. Arkin goes to it just ahead of Double Ross. They take off and land together. The Romford Pele is unseated there when tracking the leaders, watching the stragglers go over it on his own as well, back with Home Farm, the Druid's nephew, just a par and cruise Lennon as they take Valentine's. And it was Double Ross and Arkin who were the first two over Valentine's, at which all the leaders jumped it safely on his own, made a mistake at the back of the field. He's last but one and Home Farm is the back marker. Still right there on the inside is Many Clouds. He's going to jump the next fence in a roundabout fifth or sixth place. Once again, all the leaders safely over. Union East made quite a bad mistake. So it is Arkin who leads them now on towards the open ditch to in second place is Double Ross and then St. R is in third and the last Samurai jumped it in fourth shut the front door was over in fifth there was a mistake by Guniella and also a mistake right out the back of the field by Cruz Linen who is struggling and also a mistake and pulling up immediately is Rocky Creek who's out of the race it's Arkin who leads them over the fence before the Melling Road and he's gone clear by a couple of lengths as the others stream over it and they go back towards the stand with Arkin out in front followed by Double Ross and then on the outside is St. R Back in fourth is the last Samurai and then Many Clouds, who's had a good trip to this point. He certainly has. The field at the moment, though, being led by Arkin and Henry Brook having his fourth ride in the Grand National. Just slightly hampered, though, by the loose horse at that point. He's got him back on track, though, now. Arkin here with Double Ross on the inside. Same time last year's runner-up between them. And then close up behind is the last Samurai, followed by last year's winner. Many clouds and a handy fifth at this point. And then shut the front door, followed by Rule the World and Le Rev. Then Gil Gamboa and Pendra next, ahead of Vix Cabis, who made that bad mistake at Beaches. Next in the field then is Katenko. Then came Bally Casey as they come towards the 13th fence. Arkins was still the leader there over that. From St. Tar in second, Double Ross in third. The last Samurai back in fourth and then shut the front door. Followed by Rule the World and Gil Gamboa. Silvian Arco Conti is going to be pulled up before the 14th. Silvian Arco Conti is out of the race as the rest of the field get over the 14th okay and now head the way towards the chair preceded by a loose horse. It's St. Tar Many Clouds arc in the last Samurai. Just ahead of shot the front door. Then came Rule the World and Gil Gamboa from Vix Canvas and Gallant Oscar. Then Le Rev and behind these Guniella as they take the chair now. Looking back through the field, we've got a couple down at the back there. It looks like Sir Deschamps has gone at the chair.
chair and we've also got another one down on my own has gone as well as they take the water saint tar just landed in the lead there from market in second a bad mistake there from black thunder at the back of the field as saint tar led the national field from many clouds in second and arkham back in third then came la rev just in front of double ross in the last samurai and shut the front door then came vix canvas and rule the world from gil gamboa and gallant oscar then guniello yacello conti and then pendra followed by triolo delane and verleon rouge cruz linen is next on the inside and then came one night in vienna followed closely by just a par and then union east and further back to ballina gore and wonderful charm and bally casey as they approach now the next the 17th saint R out very wide with towards the inside many clouds and between them is the last samurai and those will be the first three as they cross over the next the leader saint R made a mistake bally casey made a mistake bywise made a mistake uh, home farm is tailing off the druid's nephew is tailed off sol is struggling badly as they go over the next plain one and it was the last samurai Samurai, many clouds and Saint are the first three. There was a very, very bad mistake by Gallant Oscar, whose rider is now about to be unseated before the next, which is the open ditch. And many clouds has jumped to the lead in the Grand National. Over last Samurai took it in second. Ucello Conti made a mistake. Balinogor has unseated his rider back in the field as they go on now towards the next plain one. And it's the last Samurai and many clouds, the first two, followed by Le Rev, who's now making ground on the inside with Saint R next. So many clouds as they run down towards the fence before Beaches alongside the last Samurai. Last year's runner Absentar is handy. Uh, then on the inside, Le Rev, followed over by Double Ross, who jumped up well. Rule the World is just behind the leader. Sol is pulled up. The Druid's nephew is being pulled up. Wonderful Charm has also been pulled up at the back of the field. The leaders make the run down towards Beaches. And it's the last Samurai from many clouds. Double Ross, Le Rev, Yerleon Rouge making a bit of ground on the inside. Vix Canvas. Leaders get over it safely. Uccello Conti making ground on the inside. Lost one towards the rear of the field. Katenko came down there as well. And also one night in Vienna. Arken has been pulled up. Over the point Avon they go. Many clouds leading them as they know. Head towards the canal turn for the last Samurai. Vieux Leon Rouge and Le Rev right behind the leaders with Vix Canvas. And Tara has lost a couple of positions. And then Double Ross and Rule the World and shut the front door. And Gil Gamboa, Uccello Conti and Morning Assembly out over the canal turn. The lead Leaders go, they get over it safely. Triolo Delen makes a mistake. Uh, back in the field, Cruz Linen is last of those still going as the leaders now head towards Valentine's, led by many clouds. Black Thunder was another one who was pulled up. Home Farm has also been pulled up, and it is now the last Samurai who leads. Many clouds in second. Le Rev is in third. Vix Canvas now racing in fourth. Shut the front door is trying to make ground. Via Leon Ruse is next as they go over the next. And many clouds makes a bad mistake. Pulling up at the back of the field is Double Ross. A bad mistake when tailed off by Union. East. So it is now the last samurai. The one who's out very wide is Morning Assembly, who's right there on the premises as they go over the open ditch. And a bad mistake there. A shuddering error by Rule the World. Pulling up at the back of the field is Cruz Lenin. So they've got three to jump in the Grand National. And the leader is the last samurai. Two in second place, Vix Canvas. Many Clouds is on the inside. Morning Assembly towards their outside. They're then being followed by Gil Gamboa. The Grey Valley Casey is trying to make ground. Le Rev now begins to weaken as they cross over the Melling Road with two fences to take in the National. It's morning assembly towards the outside of the last Samurai and there, right on the inside, back in third, is Vix Canvas. So they're on the way towards two out in the National. The last Samurai with a small lead from out wider morning assembly. Vix Canvas, the veteran, is right there with every chance but slightly squeezed up against the rail. Many Clouds is under pressure next and then Ken Gil Gamboa as they work down towards the penultimate fence. And it's the last Samurai who shows the way under David Bass from Vix Canvas. Morning assembly, rule the world and Gil Gamboa. Then came Yuccello Conti, followed by Many Clouds who's hard under pressure. Then Verley on Rouge at two from the end. The last Samurai. Samurai Rose, the leader, from Vix Canvas in second, Rule the World back in third, then Gil Gamboa, Valley Casey's gone in behind those at the second last as they come to the final fence, and Vix Canvas joins level now with the last Samurai, over in third, Rule the World, Gil Gamboa in fourth, then Uccello Conti, and Verleon Rouge, now the running ahead of them, and Vix Canvas draws alongside the last Samurai, Rule the World is staying on to the outside, Gil Gamboa back in fourth, they approach the elbow, three with a chance, Vix Canvas 
Jarvis toward the rail. The last samurai in the center. And here's Rule the World on the outside, who's coming home strongest of all. And it's Rule the World, the horse he's never previously won. A race over fences. He's going to win the biggest one of them all here. And it's Rule the World who wins the national for Mouse Morris. And a dream first ride for 19-year-old David Mullins. Rule the World won the national. Beat the last samurai, Vix Canvas third. There, Gil Gamboa clear from Guniella. Then Uccello Conti, Verli en Rouge. Morning Assembly shut the front door. Then Union East, Le Rev and Bywides.